morning. What is up guys? Welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be doing a baby unicorn. So before we get into it, go down, smash like, subscribe, check out my website. There's loads of pictures on there for you to download, for you to colour in or you can trace them. All these things are going to make you much better at drawing. So with all that being said, let's get stuck into the video. Right, so I'm just going to show you the picture. This is the practice picture I've done. So before I get into any of these videos, I always do a practice picture. And I've done lots of sketches in my sketchbook. And I've done quite a bit of work on my computer as well. Just to practice and make sure I'm really good at drawing the picture. Sometimes it, when I do them in the video, they're better. Sometimes they're worse. It doesn't really matter as long as you're building up that sort of those different ideas of how to draw. So everything you learn, you can use in a different picture. So if you think back when we did the Mandalorian and the, and the hot dog, lots of the things in that were really similar. Don't just do one picture and think, okay, now I've done it. It's fine to do lots and lots of pictures because that's what I do. We're gonna start off with the unicorn's horn. So it's a bit like when you do a carrot for a snowman. Make sure you're nice and curved at the bottom. Just like when we did the arm on the hot dog. It makes it look a bit more, like there's a bit more body to the, the shape. Okay, and then the next step, we're just going to draw the hairline underneath. So you don't have to do it exactly like I'm doing. You could do it more just like a fluffy cloud. And then next up, we're going to do the top of the head. So we're just going to do two curved lines that would join into a bigger circle if we imagine that. So it's just going to curve just a little bit. So then we're going to put the ears in. And at the moment, it reminds me a bit of a Jigglypuff. If you've ever seen, if you've ever seen Jigglypuff from Pokemon. And then we'll just put the insides of the ears in. So we'll just do two little lines and then try and leave the same gap all the way around the ear. So for the shape of his head or her head, we're going to do sort of a, a splurging out here. Look, So it's a bit like a potato. So it goes, it goes in a little bit and then out wider at the bottom. A little bit like a water balloon sat on the floor. It splurges out because of the weight of it. That makes it just that more unicorn shaped face because it's a little bit like a horse has a longer face. Okay, and I'm also going to add a couple of little rosy cheeks because this, this is a baby unicorn. So we're going to make it look really babyish. Two little dots for its nose and then a big smile using that sort of D shape and then a little curve for its tongue. Okay for the eyes I think I'm going to do them a little bit differently to the eyes I did in the, the picture I showed at the start. So I'm just gonna do two really nice big curvy circles. And then a little bit like how Pikachu's eyes are. Pikachu's got fully black eyes with lots of sparkly bits in. So I'm gonna do that for this. So I'm just drawing the highlights for the unicorn's eyes. And then I'm gonna color a whole, whole eye in black. This makes the ba it look much more babyish and it's way cuter. Okay, so let's look, if you have a look, that's how I did the eyes on my practice and I've changed up my eyes on, my, on this guy. I'm also going to make the body a little bit smaller, I think, because I've drawn the head so big in this one. But that just adds to the cuteness of the 
unicorn, I think. And I'll give him a wavy arm. Okay, so I'm going to put two, the, this is the bottom of the unicorn's feet, so I'm just going to do two big sort of potato-y shapes. A little bit thinner at the bottom and a bit wider at the top. So the heel is always a bit smaller and then where your toes are it split, spreads out a lot more. And then pop his bum in. And then these are just like the pads, a little bit like the pads on a cat's or dog's foot. So when it's the baby, it hasn't got its hooves in yet. It's just going to have super cute padded feet. You can colour them in different colours from the main body. Okay, next we're going to do little dashes for his, where his fingers are. And then same on the other side. And then I'm going to pop a heart on him. Just to add a little bit of something else to colour in on the unicorn. So the unicorn's quite fair coloured. You could probably colour it in like a light blue or light pink or light yellow. And then it's just nice to have something else to colour in inside the unicorn. So I'm going to do a big heart chest. And then we've got to pop a, we've got to pop a nice tail on next. So I'm just going to do a really curvy like a like a cloud but with curly whirly bits to it because it's tail super bushy and fluffy but candy floss candy floss ish so when you come to color it in i would color its tail in the same color as its hair on its head and then just a set a little bit of a scene I'm just going to pop some clouds in because that's what my favorite scenery is to draw people on and then a little fluffy bit where the unicorns sat on and then a few more bits underneath you can't see them at the moment so it's just out of the camera shot and then I usually do little spiders but today I'm going to do little bubbles bit like heart bubbles so the hearts are a little bit blobby there's no sharp edges to this heart it's just a, like you'd imagine like a a bubble floating in the air that turned into a heart shape i'll pop some eyes on just to give them a little bit of make them into a little bit of characters and i think i'll pop a little bit of a mouth on them as well And a few lines just to show a little bit of movement and then have a look so my practice go I, don't, I think my the one I've done now is better so I'm really chuffed with that don't forget to like and subscribe don't check out my website because you can get a different uh, unicorn download and you can color that in or you can use it to trace and there's lots of other pictures on there as well so Hope you enjoy that and I'll see you next time. Bye.